Law enforcement on Long Island today announced a massive seizure of what they say are stolen catalytic converters. It's the culmination of a year-long investigation. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports authorities seized truckloads of stolen items and millions in alleged cash proceeds. Police say you're looking at stolen catalytic converters, hundreds among the thousands seized early Wednesday in what's dubbed Operation Cat Track, a crackdown on thefts plaguing the region and the nation. All of these seized from warehouses in Island Park and Huntington, where Nassau police say the stolen car parts were being harvested for the precious metals inside, skyrocketing in value. Rhodium, which is 12,000 an ounce, palladium, 1,800 an ounce, and platinum, which is $1,000 an ounce. They place it into a decanter. That decanter crushes it, and out comes this dust. This is where the money is. Police partnering with Homeland Security and the Postal Service searched the homes and businesses of two Long Beach brothers and a Huntington auto shop owner who were allegedly buying thousands of catalytic converters from thieves, then shipping the lucrative metals to Montana. Police say nearly $4 million in cash was seized in their homes, another $10 million in bank accounts. These are not simple thefts. These are criminal organizations that are profiting on a large scale. Catalytic converters, the theft has been an, an epidemic. A troubling daily occurrence in Nassau County, from 89 thefts in 2020 to more than 2,200 this year. Police have a warning to scrapyards that buy catalytic converters from thieves. Every scrapyard that has gone out and turned a blind eye, put your glasses on because the door is going to be knocking. It's going to be Nassau County Police. Crime does not pay. It may pay in the short term. But we will eventually track you down. No one's been arrested, but officials underscored their message. The investigation is far from over amid their seizure today of truckloads of catalytic converters. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.